Let's start with the game. We expected Potter to bring some brightenisms, and yeah. the way I saw it, it was it was a high, it was legit hybrid back four. Yeah, back four, back three, um, where you know essentially Sterling had the run of the left hand side. That's Reece right. James played further up the park, and they'd settle back in. I was a bit surprised to see Alba up front. Um, you have to start him maybe for why? the first game. Why? I don't know. He's still a high-profile player. <laughs> I think. I think maybe you think I, that. No, I, you can do a bit of what Danny Welbeck has been doing for you on a good day. Well, I, I don't know. I hope Alba's not watching that you're comparing him to Danny Welbeck. But yes, I take your point. Um, they didn't. They had a ton of possession. Yeah, I thought Salzburg sat a little bit, but. I thought they didn't really create anything at all in the first half, or very little. No, very little. Although I liked the intensity, I liked what he did. Maybe there was a bit too fluid, too much. It was too fluid in a way, in the sense that I'm all for Kovacic playing a little bit higher. At times, he looked like a like yeah. a three-one-three-three almost, and Jorginho being the only one sitting you, in front of the back three in possession that was. I think the point is that it's going to take time to learn. We're going to get more granular about yeah. of some of his tactical stuff on there. Obviously, uh, now one point from two games, not the end of the world, but they need to they need to get their points yeah. back now against... And the uh, goal they considered Munich. was disappointing. Um, all right, on to Todd Bowley. Now, he was speaking at a conference, and I have to say this, a couple of things off the, off the bat, because I have a column coming up about this, I'm going to elaborate on this, but I want to get your views. First of all, Todd Bowley's already talked more than Roman Abramovich has spoken in 20-odd yeah. years. The media has jumped in and immediately, and we're part of the media, so I'm talking other media, because I haven't done this, and have focused on the things he said that were, that were well, stupid Well, yeah, you can't wrong. expect it differently. Focused on the all-star game. Yeah, of course. And then you have, oh, they're having a go at him because he's American, he's bringing new ideas. First of all, none of these are new ideas. I'm going to get this point across. Nothing is new about this, okay? Yeah. All-star games, whatever, we can do, we debate them, we will debate them. Nothing is new about this. Yeah. All this has been debated. They, they, they've had like slightly different from an all-star team, but kind of the same thing. The Football League 11, you know, the best 11 from the Football League in England taking on the best 11 in, in Scotland. You know when they first played that? In the 1890s, okay? Not so true. this has been around for a long, long time. But he's treated, his supporters say like, oh, look, he's so innovative. He's bringing fresh ideas. And then others saying, shut up, you stupid American. Um <laughs> I, I wish we could take a step back and move away from this and A, be grateful that you have a guy who's talking openly and so people can draw their own conclusions. Yeah, I've, he's been there two minutes and already coming with those statements. I've got a bit of an issue with it. I don't care if he wants a North Star game, he thinks it's a good idea. Good on him. We all have different ideas that we can bring onto the table and think, I think this is good. You won't, you won't think it's good. I'm all for it. It's just more that He's been there two minutes and already he's arriving and saying like, look, I've got this idea. They're great idea. They will bring a lot of money in. We will hate the pyramid. We will do this with a... Hey, come on. Just focus on your club because it's been a bit, a bit of a mess for, since you bought it. Put that in place, working well, and then maybe you can come up with ideas, suggestions. All of that. I agree with you. This is yeah. all good. I don't think an All-Star game will ever yeah. happen, but I'm not against you know, the idea or someone bringing an idea on. Come on, you've been here two minutes. We I think optics matter here, right? I, I think it matters that it is important that an owner speaks when a team is in turmoil. And Chelsea are in turmoil right now, right? It doesn't matter that Abramovich didn't speak for 20 years because, you know, Chelsea weren't in turmoil most of the time in those 20 years. Um, I am just shocked. And maybe he doesn't have a PR advisor. Maybe he's like this. Maybe he just doesn't listen. There's so many things that he got wrong in this. Yeah. First of all, the general idea, like, oh, well, maybe you could learn from American sports. We were over here a long time. I mean, I've never heard this forever. Like the Premier League was formed based on American sports. Why do you think they put the numbers? They gave player squad numbers and put their names on the back. They've always studied what happens across course, the pond. Marketing wise as well. Other thing, bring up the All Star Game. Why don't you go look at the ratings for All Star Games in American sports, which Bowley should be familiar with, right? Yeah. They stink. They on. stink. They're terrible. Nobody wants to watch All Star. Nobody wants to watch the Pro Bowl. NBA the All Star Game is a bit different. It's a cultural event. Whatever. Major League, you know how much? You know what their ratings were? Do you know how many million? They made two hundred million dollars. Says him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I on the really Monday and a Tuesday. Yeah. Imagine yeah. on a Friday and Saturday. Do you know? Do you know what the ratings were? Okay. The the NBA. Uh, sorry, the Major League Baseball All-Star Game drew just over 7 million viewers in the U.S. 7 million viewers in a country of 350 million. Yeah. 
That's I mean, amazing. honestly, like like, 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 like the sixth round of the NFL draft draws more than that. So come yeah. on, man. Yeah. Come on. Come up with something. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.